Somebody's asked, the work says we lie all the time. Can you explain what this means? Yes. When the work says we lie, what it actually means is when we talk about something as if we knew what it was and we don't know. In other words, we talk from our belief system. We talk from what we've heard other people say. Think about how many things you say that someone else taught you. You, you don't have any real experience of it yourself. You just say it because you always heard it. Your mother always said, the rich get richer and the poor get babies. So you've never really thought much about that, but you say it. Your father said, uh, government aid is like taking a pint of blood out of your left arm, spilling 90% of it on the floor and putting 10%, putting what's left back in your right arm. And you say that whatever, without knowing anything about it, whether knowing whether government aid actually does work or doesn't work or whether it's really 90% that is spent administrative cost or whether it's 50% or 40% or 30%, you don't know. But you go along saying these things as if you did know. So you talk about things as if you knew, as if you really had an experience of what they were. So when the work says we lie all the time, it means we're talking about things as if we knew what they were when we really don't know what they are. Well, when you think about that, the work also says that in our life, for us, everything is wrapped in lies. We were talking about this the other day. Somebody was talking, I was talking to somebody about this the other day, that all of life for us is invisible. Everything that you see isn't really there. It's really invisible. But what you see, it's like the invisible man. You remember the, the, the movie, The Invisible Man? There have been a number of them. Back in the old days, they, you know, there was one in black and white, The Invisible Man. And you couldn't see him unless he was either wrapped in bandages or he was in a fog or in the rain. Then you could see him. If, or, and, then, and then in the newer one, if he spray painted him, then you could see him or whatever. In a sense, everybody, all the people that you know in your life are really the invisible men and women. They're really invisible, honestly. I don't expect you to believe this, but I do expect you to go with me on this and try and understand it. They're invisible. And you carry around this spray gun with you. And you spray. Whenever you go somewhere, you spray. Just back and forth, you just wave your spray gun and you spray. And then the people that were invisible start to appear in front of you. And they appear in different colors, multicolored, different shapes, different forms, different sizes, according to your spray gun, not according to what is actually there, but according to what you are spraying. And what we're spraying, what we fill our spray gun with, is lies, belief systems, old associations, all of the things that we have stored up and put in this container that we carry around on our back that feeds the spray gun. And so here we are spraying life and everything that we see, the trees, the houses, the cars, the people, it's all sprayed on. It's not really there. It's just sprayed on. It's a thin film. It's a veneer over something that isn't really there that we have given form with our belief system, with our associations, with basically with our lies. When the system says we wrap everything, everything for us is wrapped in lies. What it means is it's like it's got a thin coat of paint on it that's wrapped around it that is really nothing more than our lives. Nothing more than we think we know who's sitting there. And we don't know. We think we know who's standing here in front of us, but we don't know. And how we know that that's true is it's never the same. Or if it is the same, it's always the same when it shouldn't be the same. And if it's different, it's always different when it should be the same. And you'll check with other people and they aren't seeing that at all. They're seeing something entirely different. It's a good question. The work says we lie all the time. That's my explanation of it, more or less. We, we do lie all the time because we don't come from anything real in ourselves. We come from pretense. We come from falsity. We come from everything that has been acquired by us in life. And what is acquired by us is not ours. It's what's been acquired. It originated somewhere else. And what we are, the essential part of us, is what originated as we were created. So our original self, whatever that is, and we don't really know what that is. And if we say we know what that is, well, then the work would say, you're lying to yourself all the time. And we do. We say we know what that is all the time. We say, well, I think this. I feel that. How do you know? How could you possibly know if you don't know your original self, if you don't know your essential I if you put your sense of self, your sense of I, into every thought, every feeling that has come along, 
that's popped up into your head or popped up into your emotions or every twitch or sensation. So you get a twitch and you think, oh, I feel, I feel hungry. Or you get, your eye starts to twitch and you go, oh, I think I, I have a brain tumor. <laughs> we make up the most incredible things, the most insane, inane, wild things. And then we act as if they were really true. And that's why the work says that we lie all the time. Because we don't know what the truth is. Because we don't know who we are. We don't know what our essential self is. We don't know who we really are. And because we don't, the only thing we're left with is making things up.